Okay, this video is about Facebook Marketplace and how auto dealers will not have their automated inventory feed able to go into Facebook Marketplace. However, there's a simple solution. Um, it's called let's all use our human capital resources and find another process, right? The best things car dealers are good at is being resilient. So let's be retail resilient right now um, and let's find a solution to the problem. So here we go. Um, if I'm a dealer, I definitely have resources, whether it's my receptionist, um, you know, it's someone that has extra time. My sales staff splits up the inventory and we load the inventory into Marketplace or someone in my BDC. Um, you know, even if you guys have someone in your family that can do it after coming after school, after hours. Anyway, solution to the problem. So you come in here, you go to Marketplace. I'm just going to show you on the screen. You go to Marketplace. Um, you're then going to want to scroll down and click on Vehicles because you're going to upload the vehicles into the Vehicle section. You're going to create your new listing. Okay, so when I go to my listing type, I'm going to go, I have a vehicle for sale. I am going to tell you guys this. If you don't have the human capital resources to load 200 new cars, 200 used cars, um, pick your bread and butter. Okay, we've all been in the car business a really long time. Pick your bread and butter, like the hot tamales, not the one ofs, but like pick the cream of the crop. Like if I'm a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer, pick my Ram trucks, my Jeep Grand Cherokees, my Wranglers. You know, if I'm a Ford dealer, I'm always going to choose my Ford F-150s to load in here. Um, even if I'm picking through my used cars, you know, pick those one owner, um, clean car facts. Um, um, like low mileage, you know, cars that are just came in on trade. They're beautiful. Um, you know, they're going to sell, but those are the ones that you really, really want to post as your bread and butter. Okay. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to choose the page. So if I'm, you know, acting as orange pre-owned motors, I would click here. If my, you know, if I'm a salesperson and I'm loading it in, I'll use my business page, John Smith, sales professional at ABC Toyota. Um, but I'm going to come in here. I'm going to choose my business page that I'm attaching my listing to. I'm selling, you know, a car or truck. I'm going to add in my photos. Okay. So I'm going to go into my photo listings. So I'm just going to go into one of our customers, uh, folders here and I'm going to get that loaded in. So bear with me here. I wanted to use, uh, I was just saving some pictures on my phone. So I'm going to use SVG. Toyota, we're going to do this Buick Encore GX. Okay, so I picked the pictures. You know, they're loading in, right? I got this gorgeous uh, Buick Encore. I'm then going to type in my description. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Um, I'm located in Philadelphia. Make sure you put your location. I got a 2021. I've got a, a Buick. I've got an Encore GX. It has 15 miles on it. Oh, I got to put 300. Sorry, guys. So 300 miles on it. Um, it's brand new. Uh, let me go to my website here. It's 27090. Um, oh, so 27090. Oh, um, there you go. It shows you how this compares to Kelly Blue Book private party values. Then I want to put in the vehicle appearance and features, right? So I'm going to throw in this thing as a nice little uh, SUV. Um, this thing is white. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I got a white Encore GX. My interior is black, right? I got my vehicle details. This vehicle has a clean title. Bam. Yes, it does. My vehicle condition is excellent. It's brand new right? I got my fuel type. This thing is gasoline. I got my automatic transmission and I'm going to load in a description. Um, this beautiful Encore GX has Apple CarPlay. Um, let's go here. Let's actually see what this has. Okay. It has hotspot capable, a six speaker audio system. So I can actually like, if you guys want, you know, you can copy and paste, um, some of this. I would always, always use the techie features because P 
people love their Apple CarPlay and all that good stuff. So, okay, so you load in your description. Just guys, pick and choose what you want to put in your description. Um, I'm then going to click next, right? So I can look at what the customer is going to see, right? My customers are going to see all this information. Um, I'm going to click the next button. Um, list in your group. So if you guys are part of any groups on Facebook, you can actually post this for sale in your groups, which is kind of cool. And then you click publish. So it's really that simple. This is a simple solution. Um, use your human capital resources. We, I've worked in a dealership for 25 years of my life. I've also worked at Viato. Uh, I've owned this business for a long time. And we all know if you're in the car business that there's definitely people that you have at your dealership that you pay that can you know do this type of work for you. It's just a matter of doing it and building a process around it. For more information, for more training, for more help, for 11 other strategies of how to sell cars and make money on social, I'm your girl. Uh, Retail Resilience, the team, we've been doing this for five years and we can definitely, definitely help you. Thank you for watching the video.